Fringe Buddies Pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Um, oh boy, as you can tell, things are starting to take their toll, let's say. We've had three massive days. Well, today is probably the last day we're gonna keep pushing that way. We found good water yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, we should get the link up here, see what that was all about. We found fish, we found great water, and we're gonna go back up there today. We've got about a two hour hike just to get to where we finished yesterday and then we'll keep pushing up from there for the rest of the day. Then what we'll probably do is tomorrow is start heading back downstream to where we came from and split that into two days. We're just about to get ready, I guess. And then we'll start walking. Like I said, about two hours up to where we uh, finished off yesterday and then hopefully we find more of the same kind of water because it was pretty sweet. later we are up into the water that we pretty much finished in yesterday one got a good fish out of here yesterday and the sun's just coming up over the hills it's about time to stop and have a snack I know that much oh it's gonna be a big day I'm already thinking about the walk back and it doesn't make me feel very happy at all that's all right as soon as we find a fish all that goes away. Okay, so we're, we're like three hours upstream from camp. Spooked two fish just crossing, and then I've just seen a fish on the inside here. So JP's getting the stuff ready, and we'll see if we can catch this one. It actually got really gorgy again, which I don't like a lot. Um, I'm really hoping we come out of it and it flattens out and opens up again. But we'll see. Only one way to know, right? So we'll uh, get the bro ready, see if we can get on the board for the day. All right, so I've got a loop process one five way and a scientific angler's infinity smooth in five way as well. Attached from that, I've got a seven foot uh, floating poly leader attached to one tipper ring and then I've got like another seven eight foot or four x tippet from scientific angles as well. From there we'll get a sort of one size 14 royal wolf see how that goes and maybe I'll hang up a proper with some sort of small fish and tail or something in there. So what happened? So we turned, chased, and it was facing you when you struck? Is that what happened? Yeah. 
so uh, I was looking through the camera screen trying to frame the shot so I didn't see what happened but apparently you saw it late turned chased ate it facing downstream and then when he struck just pulled out his mouth it happens it happens but uh good to get the eat shame we didn't get it all good let's go find another one On the board got it done and it was a beautiful fish really really pretty uh, just had to put a dropper on uh, and then yeah he came over and smashed it as you can see in this gorgy bit it's really cold it's, it's freezing like I'm shivering here trying to trying to film so yeah we need to get moving and warm up a little bit hope we find another fish good stuff It was awesome, one cast and he just came up, ooh, trapped with it and um, ate it, it was wicked. That's what he ate, first cast, size 14 Royal Wolf, boom. A beautiful, beautiful coloured fish, same kind of colouring as JP's first fish, kind of golden, buttery, beautiful spots, just, just stunning. It is freezing, we are so cold, the sun's not out. There's a bit of cloud coming in, there's a bit of wind, and we're in this kind of gorge, and it seems to be just keeping the temperature down. So we're gonna get moving and try and warm up a bit. Hopefully we can find a couple more pieces of water like that. Right, I'm gonna put this camera away and we're gonna start walking. Back into the bush, trying to bypass this gorge. A little bit easier than being in it. Oh, shit. So gorgy. Looks like I might flatten out the top, I hope. 
Okay, so we've scrambled a little bit further through this gorge. It seems to be getting worse and worse and worse, but we feel like there's some better water at the top here. So it's one o'clock already. So we're running out of time because we've got a big walk back. So we're gonna break the rods down, cross over, see if we can boost up past this gorge. Hopefully there's a few pieces of good water there. We can pick out one fish each, and then we're just gonna pull the pin and go. Because it's gonna be like a three and a half, four hour walk back, and that's just stupid. <laughs> Got it done. That was, uh, took a bit of doing, took a bit of doing before we found the right combination of drift and weight and fly and depth and all that kind of stuff. But beautiful fish, really, really cool. And uh, did well to land it in, uh, in that fast water at the back there. There's actually another fish uh, ahead of that, which I'm gonna have to go for. So I'm gonna put my gear together and try and get him or her. Okay, so I'll give you a quick run through what I'm using real quick. Exactly the same as yesterday. All this Helios 3 5 weight F with that cool olive color. Mm. Mirage LT size two reel in a burnt orange, which I love. Scientific anglers amplitude infinity smooth in a five weight. Then I've got a seven foot floating poly leader off of that to a tippet ring. Ooh, I've got about seven foot of three X off of that to about three foot of four X. And I've just gone for a single big stone fly from ends of fishing flies. See what happens, see if he eats it. Just wasn't seeing it, I don't think. Yeah, okay, I've got him wrapped wrong and need your help. I'm gonna try and swing him down and in. Sorry, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. Sweet. So I hooked him legitimately and then somewhere in the fight the hook slipped and then got caught in his tail so I feel a bit bad about that. But got the fish, cool fish, wicked all the same. Bit banged up along the side of his mouth from fighting I'm guessing. Uh, but really beautiful markings and cool anyway. So we just had a chat and what we're thinking is seeing as really this is our last day up here I really feel like we're just getting into some really good water. We're gonna give it another hour, try and get another fish each, and then do the long walk back tonight. 
because uh, tomorrow we're just going to break camp and, and walk downstream so we might as well make the most of today especially now the sun's out it's warming up and we're into some good water eh? we've got a brown on the edge in the most spectacular piece of water maybe i've ever seen it's unreal uh, it should just be a one and done dry fly slow-mo um. let's see if that happens Yeah, that's a bad luck streak, all right, man. I lost another fish, dude. It's a bad run. We would have had uh, quite a few fish on the board, but hey, it's how it goes sometimes. Uh, cool to watch the eat, though. It was really cool. Uh, right, let's move up here and see if we can find another one. Okay, so we found a fish. Just setting up cameras. We'll try and get the shot. And we'll try and get the eat and the fish. So we saw him eat something off the top, so we with the chance. Single Royal Wolf, size 14. Let's see what happens. I mean, look at that for a piece of water. That is just... <sighs> what a place. Slow motion. Dude, where are you going? Oh, I can't go that quickly. Oh, right up the pool. Just out of here. So I'm spooked two more fish out of here. Oh. Look at them, two fish. Dude, come away from there. Still see another fish at the top. Cool. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that was uh Oh, it's a cool eat, yeah. but I couldn't do nothing with him. Okay, 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 okay. Just popped. Wow, wasn't in control for a second there. Okay, so that was all going really well until what happened? Broke the hook. Yeah. Broke got the hook at, at the 
Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see on here. But yeah, that broke. And that's a, is that a new fly? Yeah. Dude, right at the hook bend. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so we are, we're done. We've got to turn around. We've got to, we, we fished later than we really should have. And we've got a good three and a half to four hour walk back to camp, which is horrible to think about. We were hoping to finish on a fish, but hey, there you go. We got three great fish to the net and lost, I don't know, half a dozen other ones. Can't always win, just a run of bad luck and stuff going wrong, hooks breaking, etc. <sighs> it is what it is. I'm gonna put all this away because we just gotta get home and I don't wanna film. Okay, so I don't know where this is going in the video, but something amazing has just happened. We got back to camp and we knew there were dock workers in here today running the trap lines, but we didn't see them. And we got back to camp and look what we found. That is ice cold beer, my friends, and chips. Ice cold beer and chips at the end of a three hour hike back four days into a trip is the best thing ever this is the best tasting beer ever mm. speechless ah. so i worked it out so i turned on the old inreach and well and a message came through from glenn asking if he if we wanted anything and he could drop us something off including some cold beer and chips so that was above and beyond what a good dude i mean what other helicopter operator will drop you off cold beers and chips in the middle of your trip no one that's the answer dude you're a legend trying to get up yeah come on buddy <laughs> <laughs> and go Whoa. that's a wecker they're the coolest birds ever they're really really cool like a funky brown chicken yeah, buddy. This is our camp spot for tonight. Basically, what we did this morning was we broke camp around, and we got out there about 9.30. We figured it was gonna take us five hours to get back down here because that's what it took us to get up there. What we decided to do was use the other side of the river and come back down on the other side of the river to see if that made any difference because the way up was horrific. And it turns out it was way better. We should have gone up that way for sure. Like it was, in comparison, stupid easy. Like it took us five hours to get up and it's taken us two and a half to get back down. So that's a learning, that's a learning lesson right there. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make camp and then we're gonna just pop downstream to the confluence and then just spend a couple of hours fishing our way back up. And it's basically like a different river since it's dropped like two feet since we came through. All right, let's make camp.
Oh. This is going to be quick because the sand flies are just oh, savage today. One missed fish, one spooked fish, one lost fish. Nothing else. Tough day. Uh, really expected to see more out because the river was so well, so much lower than when we came through, but wasn't the case. And tomorrow we're breaking camp and we're getting down to the bottom of the uh, the river here, grab the kayaks, get across, then about a th two hour, maybe a two hour hike down to the pickup point. I'll check in with you tomorrow and uh, we'll wrap this video up, eh? Final push, brother. Final push. Gotta feel all this inside, eh? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So, today's plan. Final push. Downstream, get the kayak, get across. A couple of hours downstream to the pickup point and gap it. That's it. Easy, eh? This is the pickup point. This is where we get out of here. We just sat down, drank the last of the whiskey and ate some pretty good tasting six day old melted cheese and salami. Tasted pretty good. Oh, there's some left. Oh, cheers, buddy. Good effort, good week, good times. Oh, nectar of the gods. <laughs> So ends another trip. That was a, a wicked, wicked trip. I did actually do this intro when we got back to the hangar on the day we got out of there, but something was a bit squiffy with the audio, so I'm doing it again now. Awesome trip. That would definitely go down as probably the most challenging trip I've done physically so far. It was pretty brutal. I hope some of that came across in the videos, but that was tough. It was real tough. Would have liked to have landed a few more of the fish that we hooked, but hey, it is what it is, it's fishing, it happens, it's all good. As far as everything else goes, you know, fishing in a super remote place, pretty rugged terrain, going somewhere where 
you know, not too many people get to. Just ticks every single box. My kind of trip. Huge shout out to Heli Charter Karamea for looking after us, going above and beyond as usual. If you're ever in this area and you want to do anything helicopter related, whether it's walking, hunting, fishing, biking, whatever, they're the people to use. As always, I have all their details linked in the description below. So if you ever find yourself coming this way, look them up and they will 100% look after you. Just good people and incredibly good at what they do. We had a day off yesterday and we're back into it today. We're gonna to explore a little stream. We don't really know anything about, but uh, I'm just gonna have a look, see what happens. We've got a beautiful day, no wind, sun's out. Could be good, but we'll see. Make sure you tune in next week, see how we get on today. And uh, in the meantime, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button, join the team, help me grow the channel. As ever guys, have a great week. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.